Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the X1 Bros. This is your positive gaming and Xbox community. Yeah. What if we were British? We'd actually, we should have British edition. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. As always, I'm joined by Jordan <laughs> and Mr. Uh, McSpicy. Hey. I ain't, I'm not going to speak. You, can you do it? I British can, accent? but I don't want to. Oh. Can you do an Irish? I, that's my favorite one. Go ahead, do an Irish. <laughs> no, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't do it on command. <laughs> it's a potato. <laughs> oh, come back to the show, you little, <laughs> you little blimey. <laughs> Uh, I can't really do it. Irish is hardest. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you very much for being here. It's been another big week. We were just talking before the show about microtransactions. I did a video on my channel, X1 The Gamer. Go check it out. I'm doing my first live stream tomorrow. Go check it out. Plus, <laughs> shameless, shameless, plug. <laughs> shameless plug for me. Uh, uh, also, go follow Mr. McSpicy's channel because he's dropping Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons, Dungeons and Dragons? Or Dragons and Dungeons? Dungeons and Dragons. Stuff over there. <laughs> <laughs> you, you nail your plug and you totally screw up mine. I was trying to throw you a bone. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I yeah, go check out Mr. McSpicy's channel. Yeah, yeah. They've been going through Baldur's Gate over there. Uh, we're talking about microtransactions. I did a video on microtransactions because Dragon's Dogma 2 dropped and we all had a chance to play it. Well, two of the three of us had a chance to play it. And I would have a chance if I had, like I said, just gaming space on my shelf. <laughs> Yeah, it's just <laughs> gaming space on my shelf. <laughs> yeah, you have your shelf of games. Space that you, on my shelf. You know, that you have time for. Yeah, that's a, no, that's a really good metaphor, actually. And it's the gaming shelf. Yeah. And I there's not room. Yeah. I, in order to play that game, I have to take some off that I'm not ready to do that yet. So Dragon, I'm excited to play it. Yeah, so Dragon Dogmas 2 has come out. We'll talk about what we think a bit think of it here in a second. But one of the big controversies that dropped when it came out and... Excuse me. The internet was some people on the internet. Again, some people. Yeah, you think we? Giant you asterisk. think like Xbox? The whole Xbox internet meltdown was like the meltdown for the year. We couldn't even get like three weeks. Twenty twenty four, baby. We're gonna have like weekly meltdowns. <laughs> yeah. So we had another. But one of them was meltdown. that there were microtransactions in the game, and it's a single player game, and um, people were saying this is ridiculous. They're they're putting behind a paywall features in this game. Things that you need in this correction. Game. People who did not play the game and were it saying largely. So. In fact, I lost some respect for some people. And again, I, again, yeah, yeah. some the, some people another weekly slowly thing. were weeding down people who come out. People are so quick to make these virtue signal. Capcom developers should apologize for this. This is ridiculous. I've not yet played the game. Well, <laughs> then go check. Then what are they apologizing? Do you even know what they're apologizing oh, or for? What, what bothers me is... Uh, and I've done that before on stuff, stuff that I can't remember because I was a child. Yeah. I mean, having an opinion on things is fine. And I, I like I haven't played this, but dealing with microtransactions that we were talking before the show, we all have different opinions on microtransactions. Like for me, I think it's stupid. Nah, I think it's lame. To have a single player game have microtransactions. That sure. said, if you're going to do it, have them suck. <laughs> that's I'm more no, here, okay with that than you think. Yeah, but here's my problem. Here, when game. I say like virtue signaling, you're not saying Capcom should apologize for these. This is ridiculous. No, like, yeah, yeah. That and then you look stupid because these people because they're wildly wrong. Jordan, why don't we clarify, first of all, what microtransactions are in Dragon Ball Dogma 2, well, and then we'll so, get to our differences of opinion here. Yeah, so uh, like, like Mark said, it, it's you, you can have your base opinion about, like, oh, I don't like microtransactions in games. That's, that's no, fine. That's not what I said. Okay, sorry. I said single-player games. Okay, and, and that's fine, and, that's fine. and we, can, we can discuss that and debate that and, and go on. I don't think it is the, fine. The biggest... <laughs> The biggest issue I had this week, especially early in the week, later in the week it didn't get bad because people were like, oh, geez, I played the game. Especially early in the week was just the out... I mean, what would you call it? Were they, were they pretty much they were outright just, lies? I don't know if they were lies. They were just wrong. People made assumptions about yeah. stuff. Misinformation. They clearly didn't play the game. Misinformation, not knowledgeable about what you're talking about. So one of the big issues was people were talking about... We'll, we'll just go over a couple of them. People were talking about... They put fast travel behind a paywall. And this is the big one that everybody brings up. No, they didn't. In the words uh, of Donald Trump, wrong. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, 
Uh, and it is wrong because they did not put fast travel behind a paywall because fast travel works very specifically in this game. There's two parts to fast travel. So how it works is you have something called a port crystal, which is where you fast travel to. And then you have something called fairy tokens, which is the currency. It costs one fairy token to travel to a fast travel point, which is a port crystal. In the game, you're allowed to have a maximum of 10 port crystals. So that's where you can fast travel to. There are some that are static, that are always in the world, and then there are some that you can earn through quests or find or whatever and place them in different spots where you think it would be beneficial for your tra fast travel. You're only allowed to have 10 of those. So it's not like you can put 50 of them all across the map in every little spot. You're, you're literally only allowed to have 10. If you have 10 and you want another one, you have to pick one up and move it. That being said, having 10 of those is 100% useless to you if you don't have the fairy tokens. Now, fairy tokens are a more limited resource. I wouldn't say they're incredibly difficult to get. If you explore, you'll find some randomly, and then there is some in the shop for a, I would say, handful of gold. It's not like an outrageous amount. Of, well, it, it's a good amount of gold. It's not like an outrageous amount of gold, but if you play the game, you'll get enough gold to buy some from the shop, yeah. and you'll be able to fast travel. To give you a point, I am probably three quarters of the way through the game. I have two in my stash and two on my person. So I have four total and I've already probably used maybe th th three, two or three of them. Yeah. So you can get them now the micro transaction. And I don't know the price of this, if it was one of the $1 ones or the $5 ones, but one of the micro transactions was you can purchase a port crystal, not the currency, the crystal. And now you're limited that to crystal anyways. is you're only limited to 10, and that specific crystal that you can purchase through a microtransaction, you can only purchase one time per account. So you can't just say, okay, I'm going to spend $10 and purchase all 10 of them. You yeah, can literally that, only purchase one. Yeah, that So that was pro that and the Wake Stone, right, is probably the two that got the most misinformation. Well, the Wake Stone's even more useless to purchase. Yeah. So that being said... Yes, you can have an argument that says, well, that's kind of pay for convenience because now instead of getting 10, you only have to get nine. Okay. Yep. In a single player game? Sure. Okay. Yes, that is that is a convenience, but the convenience yeah, is so small. It's useless. The, yeah, point, like the convenience, that's how you describe the convenience it. is so small, and the fact that you're going to get these, and from what I've heard from, from different friends that have played... Um, and different you know creators that have played further into the game roughly you can get maybe five to seven port crystals per playthrough and they have a pretty decent uh, new game plus system in this game so if you're hardcore enough to get all 10 you know you're, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna naturally find them as you play the game yeah is what i'm basically saying so what happened is basically a bunch of people were saying this was ridiculous without having having played the game really they've led it was like mostly negative reviews on steam we were now up to mixed 55 percent uh positive on steam the problem is is on steam on pc there were some technical issues well and and that's why this which, whole, are, which is legitimate well that's why this whole issue was a. Uh, uh, a shame because there are issues to talk about, but we can't talk about them because we got to talk about the yeah. useless three dollars that gets you nowhere. So when, two dollars, yeah, I don't dollar, know. The, pork, it was, the most expensive thing was like five dollars. So when push comes to shove, the game is not pay to win. The game is not. There's nothing locked behind a paywall here with the microtransactions. It's the same microtransactions that have existed in most other Capcom games that nobody complained about for whatever reason. It came and these, out. by the way. These are the least egregious of the Capcom games because I think in Resident Evil 4, you could literally just pay for weapon upgrades. Which, so, that does defeat the purpose of yeah. Resident Evil. So, but anyway, it's just, it, it that, whatever, you know. But so anyways, just, but it just brings up a bigger discussion, and I did a video on my channel that it's 2020, like, it seems like we're having, there's this, I, I saw people say, Microtransactions, I'm not, they're in a game. I, that's it, I'm not. First of all, microtransactions, my point, my perspective is that microtransactions, number one, are not inherently bad. Number two, I don't care if they're in a game and I will judge the game based on whether or not the game prevents me from enjoying it because of the microtransactions, which makes it a bad game, which makes it a game I won't play. Like, it's no longer 2000 where we're arguing whether or not microtransactions should be in game. It's 2024, microtransactions will only continue to increase in their presence in games. The only question is, 
is the game good or not? And microtransactions are a part of that, whether it makes it. Mm, whether, whether it implemented it in a but way that you agree with or but not. But the discussion and this like knee-jerk microtransactions are bad in game, I find to be archaic. I will, I will adjust what I was saying a sure. little bit. Uh, a $70 game, single-player game, in my opinion, should not have microtransactions. That's my opinion. A $70 single-player game. Yeah, but even these microtransactions, because I would argue that I think a game like NBA 2K is a stronger argument for that because to enjoy that, that, that game, that is seventy dollars. You pay seventy dollars, and, and if I want to do all the card stuff in there, if what, I want to do the what do they call what do they call their version? Do they have a ultimate, version of Ultimate? I, know, yeah, they, called, every, I was just thinking, is it called Nut? <laughs> and be able to or butt? Yeah, I don't basketball know. Ultimate, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and you got to pay for all of that stuff and those card packs and stuff in there. Well, but that that's a different argument. Well, that I mean that that is literally pay to win. Whereas this, like, I w- uh, two dollars to get an extra port. What? Okay, well, sure. Well, well, see, that's the thing. I'm more okay with it because sure, sure, these sure. microtransactions are basically useless. So yeah, it, I feel in, like anybody who plays this game is they're just gonna ignore them. Yeah, and it's. Well, it's not like it's it, in your face either. You have to go search for them. Right? You have to actually go to the the store. Never pops. It's not like Assassin's Creed or whatever where it blasts yeah, you. It's on the main literally screen. just so, yeah, an it's option. Hidden. I have zero problem with um, that. No, the reason why I don't have a problem with it in this game because I do have a problem with certain microtransactions in this game. I could care less because they are so incredibly useless. Last night I told Mark, "You're better off taking your one dollar for some of these things and going to <laughs> McDonald's and and investing it there." And Mark goes, "Well, the only thing you can get at McDonald's is a drink." And I said, "Mark." <laughs> that drink is worth more in value to you than these microtransactions. <laughs> like they, they are so, in my opinion, because you got to say that now, they are so incredibly useless. Honestly, I don't even know why Capcom put them in. They put them in because I think they're going to, let's just say it, sucker people into buying it because they are so incredibly useless. Well, but, no, no, no. Well, but they are, they are paid for convenience. That's what they are. Useless convenience. Well, yeah, but if I just, if I don't want to do the work, if what work? Fast, that, that's the that's for, the, as, the, you, that's, as you progress in this game. I know that, you that's, get the stuff that it, you're it's buying. not like you're not putting really in any extra work to get them. I mean, put it this way: if 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 you want to get all ten port crystals, you probably have to do a new game plus, even if you buy the convenience factor of one of them, because you're not going to get so ten I, port crystals until yeah. you go into a new game plus and re earn some extra port crystals. So spicy on microtransactions. You don't like them in why? Why not in single player games? Um, so you're okay no, with them in multiplayer games? Seventy dollar single player games. Oh, okay, that's so, an important distinction. Seventy dollar uh, single player games. What about I think, sixty dollars? I think sixty dollars. Sixty dollars is the same thing. I think if you if you have that price point, hmm. I think that you should not be nickel and diming or the appearance of nickel and diming. After, I want the full product for $70. Sure. That's what I want. That's what I'm saying. I spent $70 on a single player game. I want the full experience because that's what I feel like. That that was what I purchased. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's my problem with it. It's, I, but that's that's in a generalization. Like, yeah, like genera- you're, saying, ta- you're speaking generally speaking. Generally I, speaking. Not necessarily with Dragon's Dogma. Too, not though. necessarily with Dragon's Dogma because... <laughs> Because, like I said, there's nothing being prevented. Nobody who plays this game is going to even consider buying this. I I told David this earlier, and and there's I know there's going to be someone in the comments that's really mad at this. This is my hot take. I would prefer all microtransactions are like this in every game because they're again they're so incredibly useless. I do not have to buy them. Imagine if the micro imagine. If every game had useless microtransactions like this, you wouldn't have to buy them. <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah. But yeah. but see, but I and I'm all for supporting a developer as well. That's why I paid them. Well, it was. I mean, it's it's a give and take. Yeah, I give yeah. them seventy dollars. They give me something I want. Sure, sure. You know. Yeah. So if it was a free to play game, I totally understand. The developer has to make money. Yeah, let's do the microtransactions. Even if it was a ten dollar game. Obvi- you know, but this this is in this case it isn't. Well, it's, it's a just seventy dollar game, and then there I I want the whole package. It's such an interesting concept. I think like the the free to play versus paid, but because 
Yeah, the, the lines are starting to well, gray. And let, let's take Dragon's Dogma for an example. It is a $70 game with microtransactions that if you bought them all through, let's just use Steam, through Steam, if you bought sure. them all on Steam, it would equal $42 plus tax whatever region you're in, right? So, so like $110 or something like <laughs> No, $42 that? is like the max if you buy everything. But I spent seventy dollars, so this is oh okay, the $70 okay, okay. Sorry, so yeah. So total, it would be less than Edge of Darkness edition of Tarkov. <laughs> well, yeah, and what I'm saying, well, strictly microtransactions is what I'm saying is forty two dollars is the how much is a skin in Fortnite and Call of Duty? Thirty bucks. Yeah, you buy three skins, you're already they range from like five. Bucks yeah, to 30. You, you know what I mean, like so. I don't know. I, I, I was thinking about it this week. It, I find it interesting. But, but those are free-to-play games. At a higher price tag for microtransactions, right? So, sure, but those are no, I, No, and I, I get it. That's how Fortnite makes money, and they do a great job. They've perfected. Yeah. They have perfected microtransactions. I, so let's, at $30 so a So I think calling yeah. stuff microtransactions well, is... Because then you can see Darth I, Vader running through. Yeah. I think a better way, yeah. I think a better name for microtransactions is options. Like, that's it. Pay for these options. Paid options. It's a very mar- it's a very marketing answer. But that's every game. That's why I think I just think the entire we're like past this discussion was, uh, was it Star Wars Battlefront loot box era? Well, okay. And we're we're no, but that like was, eight years past. That, that was incredibly bad implementation. Yeah, but that of was yeah, but that was at the beginning when when microtransactions were really going main like really going in all big games that we'd never seen before. The free to play model was really coming up. Uh, with microtransactions that we had never seen before necessarily at, at scale. And so I understand that conversation back then. But now I judge the game. Like just I find just the entire discussion around microtransactions completely useless because it's here. It's not going anywhere. And I don't mind it if, if you do it well. If you don't do it well, I will judge the game based on its its completeness, like based it's on its package. entirety. Right. And that includes the options of microtransactions that you give me. If, if it, if it's excess, if you cause me to be, if you're forcing me to be excessively, you know, you make the game excessively grindy so that I have to buy your stuff. That's not a game that I like. That's not a game that I'm going to play for. Someone else might, but well, they're that's... here. They're here to say, so I just, the knee jerk reaction of microtransactions bad I just, I'm not, and we don't, I don't think anyone here at this table has it. I'm, I'm, no, spoke, yeah. I'm speaking in general at, at the internet, the interwebs. Well, and that's, I just that, think it's an old discussion that well, no longer needs to happen. I, I, I also think that. Mark, your point is mu- much more interesting discussion, interesting point. At what price point in a single player game are they, are, is it okay? I think that's a reasonable discussion. Yeah. <laughs> am I getting what, am I getting the package? You know, that $70 is, I've had this discussion a lot. Going from sixty dollars a game to seventy dollars a game is a big jump. It's like it, a mental barrier. It's yeah, it's it's big. It's your especially with how games are being developed sometimes, you don't know if you're getting a fully polished game. Mm-hmm. You don't know if you're getting a redfall, you don't know if you're getting you know, <laughs> you don't know what you're getting anymore. Yeah. Because uh, back in my day, see I don't games it's, were especially, somewhat polished when they were released. Because the developer had no chance of patches. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. I mean, technology, work, we're living through a giant shift in gaming, and, and the options of microtransaction is a part of that because the technology is, is enabling it. Well, I'm glad you mentioned, like, a couple minutes ago what you said because that was one of the big discussions is if you have microtransactions in a game, for example, convenience microtransactions, it encourages the developer to make the game inconvenient, ergo, not fun, problems, and... I think you can see in some cases that's true and generally people stay away from those games or they don't play those games or those games sometimes don't do well. Yeah, but a good in, in this case and this is a, a specifically Dragon's Dogma, I don't think the developer made it difficult to do anything in the game because of those microtransactions. Yeah, true. But I here, think they developed the game. This is want, what I think happened. I think they developed this game and I think Capcom came in and said, "Hey, good job. We're going to tack these on." on the steam store and stuff. And here they are. Sure. And, and that's what happened. May, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Here's the thing though. I submit to you that it's not even about the microtransactions as to whether and how they're implemented as to whether or not a game succeeds. I, I th- the only thing that matters is the gameplay itself. Let me, let me enter, let me enter Starfield? into the record. <laughs> no, let me enter into the record. Uh, some examples here. Diablo immortals. 
Immortal. Immortal, whatever. Uh, Genshin Impact. Uh, I don't know. Name it. Name name any other wildly. Uh, what is it? Honkai Star. What is it? Uh, Honkai Star Rail. Star Rail. Yeah. Another one. What are you? What type of game? Are you naming games that have microtransactions? Micro, yeah. Tons, Pretty heavily microtransactions. Tons of microtransactions. Very grindy. Uh, and in the Diablo Immortal instance, very criticized well, for you, those microtransactions. You, you, in very Diablo, predatory. So but wildly successful. Wildly okay. successful. Why? I think because the only thing that people care about is the game. Is the gameplay fun? If it is, you will have a subset of people who will pay for everything. Well, and I think it. I mean, I think, and that's not for me. But if they want to go ahead, I can't get mad. It's, it's not a game that I'm going to get into. Well, and here's here's I, the thing. I think people need to make decisions for themselves and not worry about what other people, what other people's decisions are. For example, Diablo Immortal. We do know it's actually wildly successful because they made a crap ton of money. I mean, I guess well, it it's depends still on popular. how. I guess it depends on how you measure success, right? Well, it's but, also like it's, it's. But to Blizzard, the company, it's very successful for them, and it's probably funding a lot of the other Blizzard games that I do yeah. like. That being said, I played Diablo Immortal, and the gameplay, like, for a phone game, like, the Diablo experience is really good. And I will admit, I had fun for a while, but Diablo Immortal... 750,000 daily active players. On Diablo average. Immortal, you straight up hit a wall, and you cannot progress your power unless you pay money. Like, it yeah. is... it is There is a... There is not a... And, a and oh, once, if you do it for... Like, it, you straight up hit a wall. And once again, I, th I just think it's why I think the discussion around micro... They work. They work. Like, that's... It's, it's here to stay. It's going to be here to stay. It's going to go... It's going to increase going forward, and it's... Whether or not one is in a game, I think is irrelevant. The question is whether or not the game is good. Mm -hmm. And the game and the experience in its entirety. On that, Dragon Dogma is 2. I am loving this game. Yeah, the game is Do you, really quite incredible. Now, caveat, we've been playing on the console, so we haven't yeah. had those performance issues. Now, a real problem uncapped, that was talked about this, this... Yeah, our, our uncapped 30 frames, That's right. which has been great. Uh, a real problem that actually was talked about this week but got overshadowed by a not real problem. Chosen Gringo brought it up. Is uh, if you bought the game on Steam, there is a lot of PC performance issues, oh, which is no, a bummer. Did. From what I hear, if you have a 40 series card, good you're good. Luck. No, no, you're good. Good luck to everyone else. Yeah, every yeah, it's 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 rough well, out that's there. Pay to win. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that 40 series and, card and not is everybody, pricey, not every, I, whoever, I think, I, I think buy the, four Xboxes for one of those. I cards. think the 40 <laughs> series card is probably in the 1% because those cards are expensive, but um, there has been some, now Capcom did come out and address it and they said they're working on it and they, I believe they're going to have a patch fairly soon. Now there is some other criticisms that we'll talk about, but if you are a PC player, that is a legit reason to leave a bad review or not you know, oh, yeah. not like the game, because if you're going to pay $70, you should be able to play the product, which yeah, let in me a tell lot you. of cases you weren't yeah, so able to Yeah, so let me tell you why, like, why I'm really enjoying Dragon's Dogma. Number one, the story is pretty cool. Actually, the, I think the story is stupid. The pawn, the pawn system, I like the story. The story is so, it was like, it was like, hey, you can are you just risen. write something and get us, you know, because we, we built this game around gameplay. The pawn system is really cool. Yeah. So the pawn system is basically the people that you choose to come with you. You create your own pawn, and then that pawn levels up based on whether or not other people use him. I created my son, Tomas, and he, he always keeps, bugs. He, he keeps always bugs Jordan me. now. Yeah, cause, hey, hey, let me be a part of your group. There's really there's this really annoying thing. <laughs> Where when you're walking and if you just like brush shoulders with another pawn, he'll like grab you and be hey, like, hey, 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 hey. I, I can do this for you. Hire me. Be great with you. And you're like, no, gosh, I already get out of here. Like and they, I got, I got it. All right. Yeah. And, and having pawns in your group is actually a part of the storytelling. I think, especially as you're wandering around the world, it costs, it, you have one permanent pawn that levels up as you level up. Yeah. It's your, your main pawn. Then you have other pawns that can join you that they jo when they join you, they join you at the level that they currently are, and then they don't level up. So you constantly have to switch them out, um, and they have different play styles, like they're aggressive or defensive or supportive, and and it just it makes it really interesting. What I like about it, too, is so often in open-world RPGs, they have very complicated systems, and while this has deep systems, I would say, 
it's not like forcing me into anything super complicated. Like the crafting system, very simple. Um, I'm not having to go down huge skill trees. I love when you level up, it automatically levels up all your attributes for you. You're not having to make those decisions. Mm -hmm. Like it streamlined some of the things that become tedious to learn in these open world RPGs and lets you focus on doing what the game is best at and that is wandering through the world killing stuff. Yep. Killing monsters, dragons, drakes, griffins. Yeah. Cyclopses. And there's something about getting on an ox cart and what an ox cart is is it's it's yeah, please one, tell me what an ox cart yeah is. it's it's one of it's one of their quick travel systems because you can't this game doesn't have like a traditional fast travel systems we talked about the port the fairy crystals or the fairy stones and the port crystals which is a fast travel but it, that's not something you're going to use like oh i need to go here then here then here you're, you're not going to do that very often yeah because you know so there's there's between main cities you can take an ox cart which you have to pay for uh, sometimes 100 gold, sometimes 200, depending on where you're traveling from. So there's something about paying 200 gold to go on an ox cart, and then in the middle of your trip, a giant griffin comes down and destroys the entire thing. <laughs> and you don't get your money back. You just lost it. Yeah, and, and but you got you to you you kill that out. griffin. No, but which, you by the way, So were you just not good at defending your cart? No, it was just... So when you when you get on an ox cart... You can sit there, and the ox cart goes like three miles an hour to your destination. If you want to, you can sit through that entire travel, which will take forever because it would be faster to walk at that point. Yeah. Or you can, they call it dozing off. You can go to sleep. So you can doze off, and that is the fast travel. Now, during that fast travel on an ox cart, there is a percentage chance that you will wake up, and they'll be like, oh, there are goblins attacking. We need to defend the cart, and you get out and defend it. So yeah. this is what happened. Goblins attacked. I jumped out. I defended the cart, and while I was defending the cart, a griffin came down and smashed the entire cart, killed the ox. It was a bloodbath. It sounds like a skill issue. Yeah, and well, what, what was funny about it is... In the amount of time it took me to kill that griffin, I could have just walked the whole thing. Yeah. Like, I just... Freaking ox company. Or me on my first playthrough uh, of the... I don't think it's the ox company's fault. I would say it's the griffin's fault. Here's the thing, though. They should have put, a, like, a ballista on the back of that thing. <laughs> yeah. Then it would cost $300. <laughs> Griffins yeah. can be deadly. But my the cyclopses are my... I always run into them. And I learned last night, Jordan was telling me it's because I have a woman in my party. Yeah, I do. I bl And I believe it says it, like, right at the beginning. Cyclop Cyclopses are attracted to women. Yeah. Uh, who is it? Some comments here in chat. First, <laughs> first uh, super chat from Techie eighty seven. He's been a member for twenty months at Tier Two Arbiter. Huge shout out to Techie. Thank you very right. much. R fifty one Gaming says all I hear are criticisms about Dragon's Dogma, but I spend all day at work thinking about playing it when I get home. This is the same with me. Mm -hmm. they, I'm very much enjoyed. They've this is cool. It's a cool game. Like it's it's a cool world. They do they do do exploration really well. Yeah. Well, they they make the world matter and part of making the world matter is the restrictions on fast travel or the 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 way their fast travel system is implemented now because time, it makes you want to travel yeah. yourself and there's stuff to discover tunnels dungeons caves there's statues that you look at that will give you clues as you look out you know through the space and stuff um there is one the only thing complaint i have there and we talked about this yesterday jordan is Sometimes it's overwhelming with as you're walking along, you'll get like ambushed by three or four groups of goblins. And yeah, and then you'll beat and, them and then you'll run 10 feet and it's like, oh, geez, another one. Okay. Yeah, that that sometimes get, but it does help you level up. So uh, that would be my only complaint there. But my other my other only complaint and I didn't understand it at first because you had told me about this. But after making multiple mistakes, I understood it. Uh, and that's what Chosen Gringo is saying here in chat. He says, my biggest gripe with this game is the save system. I just jumped yeah. in and made a bunch of mistakes only to then find out I can't start a new character. I'm now playing on my kid's account. That exactly is exactly happened to me. That there's, is a, there, well, there's kind of a two. It's kind of a two save system. Well, no, no. What do you say? That, no, that, that is a very valid criticism. And that's that's actually one of mine. There is one save slot. One. If you... If you want to go, if you're, because what same thing happened to me, I made a character and he was a little too swole. If you know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, this, you know, maybe I, I won't do this guy. So I go to make a new character because you're like, ah, whatever. Uh, one safe slot. Yeah. Now, you can argue, well, that doesn't matter, Jordan, because there's character 
you know, recreations Go in the, the game and blah, blah, blah. All of a sudden, you, do, you can be whatever class. You don't have to redo your classes. You can just switch, blah, blah, Whatever. That's great. I do think it's a big L that you can't at least put just like three safe slots in, in a game. Well, for someone to create a new kind, character, a new game. Well, now, kind of two. I want to help Chosen Green go out here. You can fix this. So if you're on Steam, it's a little bit more complicated. Um, I'm not 100% sure how to do it on PlayStation, but on Xbox, what you have to do is turn off your game, go into the manage game setting, and go to your save data, and you need to delete it and then delete it everywhere so it deletes on the cloud as well. It's the cloud that's giving you the problem. So you go in to manage your save slots, delete everything. It'll be like 510 megs or something like that. For me, I deleted it, and then I actually had to go back into it and delete it again. And at that point, it said, do you want to delete this everywhere? Like, And it's basically including the cloud. Say yes, and then if you load the game back in, you will have a fresh start. There is some something kind of cool about it, though, in that... Once you start, that's it. What happens, happens. I Let the dice no, fall. I think that is terrible. I, I think it's unnecessary. I, I think it's an unnecessary. I think that's terrible. Hindrance. That's that's one of the dumbest things I've heard about this game. Also, just to get it out there, in Capcom's update, they did say that they were going to add additional safe slots. Was one of their things. Yeah. So my problem isn't with the with, with having to start a new character. Mine was just even the save itself. If you do some, like I got caught in this, I was way underpowered because I missed the cart. If you miss something in this game, you just miss it. Or like if you catch the cart, but in Jordan's case, it gets destroyed and then you're stuck in the middle of nowhere. You can't get it back. But especially in the beginning zones, don't, for instance, say, hey guys, yeah, I'll join you, Gregor, on the way to the capital and then run off and do other stuff because he's gone and he's dead. So people that give off main quests can die. And you just had to figure out how to complete yeah. the quest. But if, if you, but there's two saves. There's save last save that you can load up, and then there's last. How do they word it? Last rest. Yeah, I think. And so you rest at a campsite or an inn, and that's so they're two separate. So you kind of have two saves. They're they're well. I don't think like the save of the game is like necessarily the problem because their auto save is actually fairly forgiving, and then you can kind of set yourself up to where if you want to change something, you can go back to your last in save, in, which is the last time is, yeah. you, which is the last time you like rested. I've used uh, the the problem revolving around saves is the fact that there's literally only one locked save slot. Like, and it's, it's not even the problem. It, it's almost not even a problem that there's a locked save slot. It's the, it, or one save slot. The problem is that it's locked. You can't even say new game. Like yeah. it is just locked. Yeah, that's foolish. So, other than that, though, absolutely really liking this game. Uh, it's incredible. I don't know. Dude, even the original Zelda had three games. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, just, <laughs> why can't you just well, put three I, on there? I you don't, don't need to give they, me 50. Just, have they just three. Have what they discussed to, that? Have they discussed why they made that decision at all? Has anybody seen anything? No, they won't. They'll I just, assumed it was like, because there is this sense of like permanency as you go through the world. And that's why everything, like when I missed that cart, I was like, Jordan, I don't know where I'm like getting crushed here. Well, you said you said, I don't know where the guy is. And I says, well, you just got to go to the Capitol. Like, that's where your quest says to go. He's yeah. just not going to be with you. And then I got stuck at night and I didn't yet have a campsite with me. So I couldn't camp. The world is cold and hard. <laughs> the world at night is very cold and hard. It has to be a game design decision because I think it is. Well, there okay. is no re. Every single game we've had in the last 40 years has had multiple saves. Well, so if they you, had to have made this decision. This I, way. I think the reason, and this is just me speculating. I think the reason they made the decision is because your characters in this game are kind of like, they're kind of like Final Fantasy 14. If you've ever played that, your single character can be everything. If you roll a mage, you don't have to stay a mage. You can become a fighter and completely level up the fighter skill tree. And that you can max out every single class skill. Like your one character can be everything. And, and when it comes to character creation, it's very easy and cheap to get re... They're called metamorphosis things that you can take to the barber and redesign your character. So if you look at it from that perspective, it's like, oh, there's no need for a second save slot because you can just do everything. That being said, there should... I, I don't know. There should be because sometimes you just want to start a new I, game. I do think the point, though, like, for instance, my story, had I not went back to my in save, so che cheating... My story at the beginning would have been wildly and experience is wildly different than Jordan's because I missed something, but I don't think missing it is the right word. Well, it's and you just, didn't, I didn't 
do. You so know you, what I mean? didn't, like, you didn't miss it. It's like Dungeons and Dragons in the in the respect that it's as much freedom as that. Or not you, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Baldur's Gate. You didn't miss the story. You just now have to complete that quest differently, differently. than yeah. I did because the quest is still completable. And but like, I th- like, like I said, very important people can be killed. Now, I can't tell you anything, but there is stuff later on that helps circumvent that. But yeah, but that's it, what I'm saying. People like it. It's it's very. But I think when it's something the, happens and you're like, "Whoa, that's wow! Why did you do that?" Yeah, yeah. But I think that that's intentional, and I think it's because of that Baldur's Gate three style of freedom. Yeah. That being said, in Baldur's Gate three, you can have multiple save slots. Yeah. I suppose you remember when I killed the main character right off the bat in our oh playthrough? Yes, I do, and <laughs> so we're playing our playthrough. I heard she's a big part of the story. She. I would love it's to know a what huge happened. part of the story. I would story. love to know what happened after when, you know, on, nope. on our playthrough went because I, because I kill her. It would be super interesting to see that. Which, by the way, so we had a different playthrough. Uh, they'll be posted on my channel every week, uh, twice a week. So I'll plug, I'll plug myself, David. Oh, I'll plug go. myself. Nice Mr. McSpicy. Jordan, uh, where's your channel? I, it's coming. We're working on it behind the scenes. Uh, Rye fifty one gaming in chat. It says it is. They don't want uh, scum saves. Which I do think on the flip side of that, he, no, he's one hundred percent right because there's a certain item in the game that's let's compare it. Its equivalency is the golden gun from N sixty four. The sword of a thousand uh, truths. Yeah, I won't uh, tell you what it is or where you get it, but the equivalently is like the golden gun from. Yeah, okay. Now the problem is, is this golden gun, quote unquote golden gun, only has one bullet, and in its description says, as soon as this is released, the game will auto save. <laughs> and I think that, and and, and See, just that's just like cool, they're saying, and, no, and that part of it, I agree, I think is incredibly cool because if you use it and you're like, oh my gosh, I use that on that person and stuff happened and, and now it's saved and i can't go well, back now you can kind of fudge the system and just you know like i said if you I don't i think that's cool in concept but it's the whole once game save and is locked is anti-fun no no it's that straight that up part anti-fun. yeah that is an anti-fun move Wait, but I, I, I disagree agree. with no 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 and i i agree with that too like i said what if you had I, to what if you had to beat the game and once you beat the game, it unlocked saves. If you well, Save no, slots. no, no. If you wanted to do something like this, sure. I mean, it's this, I brought the game up before. What is it? The nineteen ninety two NES Zelda. Yeah. There's three permanent slots. There's three. No, what I'm saying three, is, they but, want you so, to experience know, but, it from the from the start. But no, but you can because it doesn't cross over. You have a save gameplay one save. Gameplay two save and gameplay three save. Yeah, yeah I know what and you're they saying. Don't over they're three. They're three separate games. But if you wanted to do that concept, then do that. But well, and, what and if, that's and that's basically what they're doing with this update that they're coming out with. Yeah, okay. everything stays the same in your game. You're locked into decisions that you make by the actions that you take, which I do think, and I agree with Right Fifty One. They don't want you to save scum, and I think that's a part of the game, which I do think adds to the game because it adds weight to the game and it it makes your choices matter if you accidentally kill this guy "Ah, he's dead you know it it adds weight to the game which in turn you know makes the game more fun but i don't know why you can't like oh okay i want want, three times i want to go start another character but this time i'm not gonna yeah genocide this village you know i'll I'll leave him lying and i'll do this over here so, which is what they're eventually doing with with updates that they're coming out with. I think they should give it to you as a microtransaction option. <laughs> no, you don't. That would be a bad take. I'd say one ninety nine per save. Oh, uh, where's your channel? Unsubscribe. Limit yeah. limit two. Let me unsubscribe to X One the game. Li- limit two. One ninety nine. And two. you don't want me to unsubscribe because I support you. You do. You would love to I- comment. I sub- I'm very excited. I, I, I subscribed. I'm a member of your channel. Oh, you are? Yeah, you have my new badge. I have a new badge. Oh. I can't I've been a member since like day one. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a Master Chief helmet. Oh. With gold. I think you have the gold. All right. Yeah. Maybe I'll stay then. Yeah, you should Even stay. though your takes are pretty poor. I think Fitzy is another one that has like the, the gold. <laughs> but I think gold. we're all in agreement that Dragon's Dogma is fantastic. I, I do think it's an incredible RPG. Incredible. Very fun. Very fun. Xbox. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I do want to mention this uh, before we move on to the next segment. 
I do want to say, as of, if we were to go back four days and then go back 10 years. Yeah, it's our 10-year anniversary. Uh, that was our first show. Yeah. I wanted to point that out. It that has been 10, 10 years. years of this show. That's crazy. That is and crazy. And we're doing nothing special because none of us have time to do nothing anything special. special. Well, <laughs> for our 500th episode. Which is, is next episode. This is 499. Yeah. So 500th episode is next episode. Which is crazy that 10 years and 500 lined up. That's 500 episodes. 500 episodes. That we've of- sat down. It's 500 weeks. Wow. I mean, if the math checks out. No, that's uh, that's a out. decade. You go back to our first episode. I look young <laughs> and thin. Yeah, that, I had all the, like the you could see the dreams that all uh, everything could happen. You, could see. Now, you weren't beat down by life yet. Now, this face right here. You weren't the beat saggy, down by life. <laughs> bags under my eyes. Yeah, life has got me. <laughs> got me by the balls. But 10 years, I just wanted to point that out. That's, yeah, next that's next week, deal. tune in, everybody. 500. It's our 500th episode. We're just do uh, Probably a, nothing a special. Lounge. I'll actually, <laughs> I'll special. be tuning in. I'll be tuning in uh, from Las Vegas. So I'll be coming at you oh, from Las Vegas. we're going mobile for our 500. 500 mobile. Yeah. That's the special part. So yeah. I'll be, <laughs> yes. I'll be celebrating. <laughs> yeah, you will, baby. <laughs> I'll be a magic mic or something. <laughs> That would be so great to have my like, magic mic in the background. <laughs> oh, man. You're like, you're whispering, hey, guys. Hey, 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 I'm in here. I'm here, hey. Thumping music. <laughs> Crotch in my face. Crotch in your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, there are some leaks this week of the Xbox Series X white version. And it looks just like the Xbox Series X and white and cheaper, and I like it. I think. Can, it, can I give a hot take on this? What? what yeah. Let David. Let David. I explain. was just going to say. Okay, yeah. I think the issue here is after seeing Jordan's PlayStation Slim and that being like this new version <laughs> that they're selling, that's a better way to do it than just this. Can I give my hot take? Yeah. Then? I don't care about this. <laughs> it's all digital. It will be cheaper than the four ninety nine price point, most likely, and it's white. Like everything you just told me, really, really, and I, I'm not trying to be mean or joking. Like I, I don't, I just don't care about this. Once again, now, had they done a slim, if they said Xbox Series X slim, would you care? I would say yes. Maybe. I mean, the one thing that it it, it does say it has is an improved heatsink. Whoop-de-do. Which which is good. Yeah, but it, that do. also makes me think. Well, what's wrong with mine? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So, so but no, I, I, don't I don't care. Know. So you're offended. You like want- I, I remember when the the Xbox Series no no the Xbox One S came out. Yeah, and and I got that one pretty much day one. It was either day one or day two because I was like, oh, okay, this is really cool. Um, and it was basically the slim. I think that's what the S stood for. Is Xbox One. X Slim or whatever yeah. I don't know, and then you had the Project Scorpio, right? Which what was that one called? The Xbox One X. Another thing, Xbox really just needs to consult. Like th- these names are getting out of control. Sure, but that's another topic. I don't know. I just I I'm not excited for this. I I maybe I'm wrong, but I really just don't care. I'm not sure you're supposed to be excited about. Maybe it. yeah, maybe it's for new people. Yeah, I think that that it's like uh, a new my entry favorite point electronics into the are like the white look. I yeah. love I love crisp white. My my PC towers are white. Yeah, I love the X or the PlayStation like vagina, <laughs> the white vagina look. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like it's hard to, but no, I I like white electronics. If I could get a, I just like white with black accents, mm. super sexy. Yeah, yeah, it's my favorite. So I think yeah, uh, maybe you're wrong, this is for you. Yeah, I I I. But but I already have an Xbox Series I, X. Yeah, so. I, I don't care. I'm okay with the heatsink. <laughs> yeah, my so. heatsink seems to be okay. <laughs> I didn't have any worries about it until this post came out. Yeah. But no, I just, I don't know, maybe I'm at that age where I just what? That's a, I, I'm don't actually care. surprised that you don't care. I I think if it... What if this had 11% speed? Like if it was 11% faster. Yeah, may, maybe I would care then. Because... Maybe that's it's exactly be, maybe what it, happened before. And maybe you, it's because it's the same shell. Maybe that's maybe I, I don't think know. That's it because maybe, you have just, just got like, a PlayStation Slim and you love it. 
like the look, you're excited about it, but it's yeah. because it's a slim. Like I think if I think it has to be slightly different than what it is. Like so, slightly smaller reactor leak is this smaller smaller. To my understanding, it's not. Uh, it's just new components instead of the the disc drive. But yeah, if well, it and you was would like, think if they took out the disc drive, you'd have a little bit of room. Well, like, that's probably why the heat sink's better. Like yeah, you want to know what I you, like you want to know what I think they yeah, should do actually. for the for this. That would be super cool. If they gave it to you, game like a GameCube look, like with like, a handle, like a cube. But you I mean, don't even need a handle, but just the like a small cube that's white like that. That yeah, would be cool. You'd need a handle. <laughs> yeah, if you, I mean, if you <laughs> that's cut, the superior console that design. Is, that if is, you cut that thing in half, it it is a GameCube. Also, can I say the one thing I want back? And I, does the PlayStation even have one? They, it doesn't even have one, and I don't know why. I don't know the technical reasons they went away from it, but I miss it personally. The audio, the aux, the audio out. Uh, optical yeah, yeah. audio optical audio out well like, i do miss that a lot see here's the deal like so i'm recording the uh, Baldur's gate 3 playthrough it took me forever to figure this out and the internet basically says it's not possible but i figured out a way to do it so it's possible <laughs> so it is possible yeah um but it is uh i think this happened several years ago i think it has to do with legislation believe it or not mm. uh, with the audio out stuff uh because I think the only state in the United States that allows recording without both parties on the recording knowing about it is Nevada. I thought Texas was like a one-sided recording. It might be Texas, yeah. too. Uh, Utah, Utah is as well. No, I don't think Utah is. No, I know it is for a fact. Oh, okay. We well, use it all the time. Yes. Yeah. Well, I've had to use it. <laughs> only one person, like if there's a call of 50 people, only one person has to know. That it's being recorded. And consent, yeah. Okay. Well, there are other states that disagree with that, and yeah. I think... Um, so that's the purpose, though. I think that. the purpose is to make it so you cannot record party chat. So to make it an inferior product. The purpose is to make it an inferior product. I mean, that's essentially My, because they have basically made it near impossible to record. So because I'm playing Baldur's Gate 3, yeah. I want the people I'm playing with recorded. It was near impossible. My, yeah, my headphone sound is has always been less than ideal on the Series X. Even with, so I have the Astro mix amp that I plug my headset into. On the Xbox One, worked swimmingly. Was amazing. As loud as I want, as low as I want. Party chat, as loud as low. You could do it all. With the way that it works now, it's it kind of works. But it's not nearly, you don't nearly have the control. It's not as precise. The audio is just not as, it's just, it's never been as good. It's always been frustrating. Party chat's been never as good. I can never dial it in. I want my mic monitoring at a certain yeah. level that I can never get because you're. it's a give and take. Whereas before, with a separate audio out on the Astro mix amp, I could do anything I want whenever I want. It was beautiful. Yeah, well, now, so now, because I have the Astro hooked up to that Xbox, yeah. now it still doesn't work. Like, it's straight up, you cannot get audio out of the Xbox when it comes to party chat and yeah. in-game chat as well. Yeah. Well, the optical cable just allows you to capture that audio better. Yeah, or easier, is that like what you're separate, saying? Like, separately. Um, the optical cable that, like, the Series X, or sorry, the One X used un, to have. Quote, unquote, better, but, yeah, I easier. guess. Yeah. I, I know. I, I, all I know, I know was my experience was far superior with the because I would also I would use the Astro Mix amp when I was streaming and I could separate out separate out myself so you could hear just me. You could hear. I could bring in party chat anytime. I could I could adjust the levels on that. By it's the way, it's never think, been the same. I think I know how you did it. Can I talk to you about it afterwards? Because sure, yeah, I think yeah. I know how. You I'm not did trying it. to keep it a secret. Oh, do you just use party chat on the PC? No. Oh, there's a that's how I used. To there's do a it. dongle. Uh, so the dongle doesn't work anymore. It, it doesn't work for like in-game chat. For mm. example, when you're like playing Call of Duty, the in-game the people talking it doesn't pull through. Even if you switch um, to go through speakers and stereo. Oh, see, mm. David R says you need an adapter from the Astro website. What? Yeah, so that used to work and it doesn't anymore. Yeah. Well, I think that was for David's particular issue. Oh, yeah, yours, gotcha. yours is still. They have literally like hard capped the ability to, to capture party chat, party chat, yeah, yeah. and it, especially in game chat. It's it's, and I think they did it just so they didn't have to deal with laws regarding recording people without knowing. Yeah. 
I do wish they'd bring back the optical. Interestingly enough. I do wish they'd bring back the optical cable, though. I understand, like, it's a very niche subset of people that would use the optical cable, but it really made my setup a lot nicer. What yeah. is the adapter, David R? Let me know what that adapter is. I would, because I miss it. I very much miss it. I very rarely do party chat now because I, it's never been the same. You can make adjustments within the party chat. Yeah, it's that annoying, though. I just want to do this. The physical knob right yeah. here. No, yeah, no, yeah. I get you. Right there. Anyways, I would get this. Uh, if I had money, I'd get an extra one as white without a disk drive. Why not? Well, you could get a Series S. It's smaller. Yeah, but I want See, the, that I saw value in, so I bought I, that. But I want the but power. But this is going to be cheaper, too, Jordan. The, but same, I want the, but power. the same power, better heat sink. For my personal, I don't know, I'm still not interested. Like, for my needs, I, this does not interest me. By the way, and you, I'm, like you said, I'm not the target. For by this. the way, you guys seen the new LG gaming monitor OLED that dropped? Think of my TV as a 32-inch gaming monitor. And holy crap. Yeah. Take, yeah. A, guess, take a guess on the price. It's like 1500 bucks. Yeah, it's super yeah, expensive, isn't basically. it? Basically, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. you're right around there. Uh, 480 hertz. 480 hertz monitor? Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, look it up. New LG 32-inch monitor. It's beautiful. Which, can your eyes physically see? No, not for, at yeah, all. Yeah. But that's what David said. Having that. Oh. <laughs> that's what I told David. I said, David, your eyes okay, physically can't see that. LG. And, he, and he literally said, yeah, what but I, I would up? have it. What am I looking uh, up? Just say LG 32-inch new gaming monitor. 480 hertz. OLED. Yeah, it's OLED. OLED. Uh, yeah. Um, one week ago. There it is. Yeah. Although it's right here. Uh, no, because it's on pre-order. That might be it. I don't want to do any but the videos. Video, but the video up top, you like, you'll see the gameplay of it this and stuff. This one right here. I mean, I don't know if it's a good one. I don't but, care to watch a video, David. I just oh, okay. See well, it. I think it is that one. Fifteen days ago. E fifteen. Yeah, maybe it's this one. Let's see. Fourteen ninety nine. Fourteen pre-order. Pre-order. That's it. Yep. That's it. Pre-order. Right here. Uh, yeah, you should see the. Oof, it's beautiful. I wish I had. I wish yeah, I go had ahead and look an at extra, the specs on that bad boy. I wish I had an extra thirteen hundred because beautiful. Okay, yeah. Where are the specs? Uh, they usually put oh, them here, where I you can't them. find them. them. Yeah, I got there they are, right there. Up, so everyone can see it. There we go. Dual uh, mode, four K, two forty, or full HD at four eighty. Gosh, that's so small. And it. It's uh, HDMI 2.1, correct? Yep. Correct. Yeah, so you can works, use HDMI. Works the first one that works with everything. Golden. Golden, baby. Uh, Chosen Gringo says, thanks, Jordan. I finally deleted my old save. Just yes. saw my new character. Yeah, sometimes. Now what, I can have again. a more helpful pod. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> again, if you're trying to erase on Xbox, manage game, go into your setting, erase your save file, back out and i had to actually physically go back in and erase it a second time for it to de say delete everywhere and it's that delete everywhere screen that you want starts a new game able to fix it i'm glad you're able to do it chosen gringo that being said you as a player should not have to go that in depth to do it yeah that i, I hope they come out with just even if you just give me three safe slots yeah. you know uh but it sounds like they are and hopefully we'll get that patch relatively soon yeah it only says 60 hertz <laughs> No, up. Scroll up. Oh, 240, 240. 240 at full HD, 480 at... No, 240 at 4K. Four, four, where, are you, where are you seeing this? Go go back up. Up, up, up. That's as high as you can go. No, no, go overview. Uh, under features and specs. Well, it's not on the all specs. Right there, no, so right there. Dual mode. Hertz. Dual mode. 4K at 240. So 1080 at 480? Yep. Got it. What is that? Is impressive. It's a lot of power. Do you want to play games at 1080? Well, it doesn't matter because you can. If you can do 1080 at 480 hertz, it can do 1440 at. Well, you can do 240 at 4K. No, so. it's 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 doubled, so it's one or the other. So you either go 4K at 240 or 1080 at 480. So I mean, I I would wait. I, so I, what what if you did? I, I well, to be honest, 4K at 240 yeah, is still good. Yeah, it doesn't work. Fuck. It doesn't work that way. So it would be 240 hertz is if you wanted to play higher than. So it wouldn't allow like if you were to plug in and go to your Xbox settings and hit 1440p, it would not allow the 120 mode. It's just a hotkey. It switches automatically. Oh, I see what you're saying. 
I mean, that's still pretty dang amazing. But I would I would choose the 240 hertz just because I. Well, get I mean, it. if you can do 4K at 240, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? like well, I, I'm telling you, when you look I've at the I've never picture, played on 240 before, and I would like that in my like life. It's like my television. A 4K and you've seen. That's ask a, Jordan. Jordan came up and dragons. I moved. I was. I had my Series X playing Dragons Dogma down in my basement. Moved it up to my television. Yeah. So, Jordan came up to see it and was like, "Oh my goodness, the graphics are better up here." No, no, it is. It like I've I used to not think this, but. In the past years, I've realized the screen that you have and the color accuracy and the vibrancy. But yeah, like it, it is the clarity. It, it incredibly matters. Me and David are playing the exact same game on the exact same machine, literally, the Xbox Series X. On his TV, graphically, the game looks better. It's not running any better. It's, it's not, not, it doesn't have, it doesn't have any extra hardware that I don't, better. yeah. But because of the way the colors look on, it, it's just such a, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, I will never get. A cheap TV again. What if I bought this? This? Yeah. Dude, yes. If you bought it, we got to try it out. Watch it suck. It's 1400 bucks for a monitor. We should you do can... a whole members lounge stream. I get it. Check I mean, it out. I mean, I get it. I get it. Yeah, but I'd be running at 4K 240. Yeah. Well, what? I mean, well, I, I don't know. What, I don't know if even my computer can do that because 4K in and of you itself need takes to get a lot. 4090 Ti. Yeah. So add that into the price. How much are we looking? Five thousand dollars. Still, even just, <laughs> but still, even just for your, even just for your X, just your Xbox, it's amazing. The Xbox, like, but it depends on the. I mean, uncapped three thirty. Yeah, you know, that uncapped, uncapped thirty. 30. No, but and, hey, the, I can feel the, that uncapped. But 30 the visuals. When I, that's know. why when you watch the thing, the visuals are like my television on a no, thirty-two no, yeah. inch. It's yeah, amazing. The, the vision, like, I don't know if you call it color accuracy or or maybe just the HDR or whatever, but there is a. You get what you pay for when you buy high quality products yeah. or high quality TVs. So on the Xbox, what games run at one twenty? The even uh, the even Dirt and Forza, I think. No. Even yeah, Forza. Dirt and Forza. Forza, Forza, Forza. Forza Motorsport is sixty. Oh, that's odd. But Dirt, I know, runs at one twenty. Dirt is one twenty. Good question. Dirt is one twenty. I know because I've done it. Dirt five, I guess is yeah. what it is. Yeah. Um, does Halo run at one twenty? Mm, I don't know. I can't remember if it was 120. I know it runs at for sure at 60, but is there a 120 mode? I I, I can't remember if there is or not. But but uh, more, imagine Forza on this thing, even at 60, like whew, it's looking. Smooth. And 30 inches, 30 inches is a good size. I have 32. a list. 32. Battlefield That's five. 32, right? Oh, Battlefield five is 120. Devil May Cry five, but Borderlands three, Dirt, Forza Motorsport, Doom Eternal, Fortnite. Halo Infinite, Sea of Thieves, Gears 5. Sea of Thieves, huh? Starfield so, is actually on the list. That surprises me. So this is, although, I, this is 120 on the Series X? Uh, Xbox Series X, 120 first-person shooter games. F, F frames I'm per not second. I'm not frames yeah. per second. I, <laughs> I do that all the time. I said, oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. My brain broke. But, yeah, um, 120. Forza Motorsport that, well, is on there? The old one. Go back to Forza. It was Forza, Forza Motorsport. Oh, that's the new one. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> No, I, him? I yeah. have. I <laughs> is that is that new? I don't think that's accurate. What list is this? Uh, let me look. It's the list of 120 f 120 games that run it. Or this is just a Google search, so I don't. The think internet could be lying to I me. I think that's wrong because I I I tried my motorsport on my television for the 120, and it's six it's 60, and I remember it being a big deal that it was just 60. They could have come out with updates. Remember that, right? Yeah, that well, that's why that's what I'm asking. Is it? Is it, uh, uh, David, which TV do you have? LG C? It's the LG C2. The C3 is the newer one. And this isn't even the top of the line of the LG. No, yeah. This is like right below the top of the line. And it's fantastic. It's fan. So before, when I say I have. Okay. This is, this is from Windows Central. It says list of games that support 120 FPS on Xbox Series X. Um, now, keep in mind that you're probably going to have a really low resolution when you do this. Mm -hmm. Apex Legends is on there. Plague Tale at 1440, though. Uh, 1440, yep, a Plague Tale. Uh, a, a lot of old games. I think they must be retroactively adding support to these because Battlefield Yeah, remember 4, they added the, what was it, FPS boost to a, a lot, lot of older games? A lot of games. Battlefield Hardline, a game that, that lasted a week. Incredibly old. Yeah, so there's a lot of games. I mean, that's just the Gears piece. 5. Gears and at 4K? Yeah, Gears 5 at 4K. Wow, that's, that's awesome. dirty. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, yes, David, there are a lot of games that can that Oh, Hyperscape, that was a shame. <laughs> I know, this is like taking us down. I know, a, it's like, ah, you know, that game, like, 
Like it had good eye. Ah, it's just it was, that's Minecraft on, Dungeons at see, 4K well, on Forza Sports support website. Six, it's sixty. Well, we haven't gotten to F's yet. That's ch- oh, we passed F's. Oh, did we? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Uh, uh, Fortnite. Yeah, on now on Forza Motorsport is on, not on this list from Windows Central. Yeah, and yeah, so Fortnite yeah, is fourteen forty p. So I think that other list was was counting games PC games because on PC you could get one twenty. Yeah, this is specifically saying Series yeah, X. Yeah, Series X. Yeah, I knew it was. 60. Yeah, this has over. This has a lot of games. Overwatch. Hey, Persona three and four at four K also. Mm-hmm. That's I mean, Mr. Yeah. Dominic Dibiaso has the LGC one and C three. Yes, I have the C two. Fantastic. Yeah, a lot of games. Fantastic. Yeah, it's my favorite TV I've ever owned. I can never go. If back. I didn't have to take my kids on vacation this summer, I would buy this. <laughs> do it anyways. <laughs> yeah, you ever thought of do that? Do it anyways. Yeah. Oh my gosh, David, you're terrible. <laughs> yeah, do it. Dad, anyways. why didn't we go on vacation this year? Do you well, see? Do you see what this what? TV looks like? Yeah, look at this. Well, it's on pre-order. When does Come it here. drop? When is? Does it say the date? You're right. If I just put it on credit. It's free money, right? It's free money, baby. Isn't that your... Yeah, when you click pre-order... Or is this just like a... uh... It doesn't say when, does it? There's no date. Well, that's actually not... That's... Doesn't How is this on pre-order and you already have five reviews? Uh, Because all the... the, That's why I saw it. All the YouTubers are... Were sent monitors. Those lucky... So then it's got to be coming out soon, Yeah, it's soon. It's like in the next... I mean, I guess you could go on the payment plan as low as oh, there we go. Uh, per month. Start ex- uh, pre-orders are expected to start shipping on April fifteenth. April fifteenth, Jordan, two forty-eight per month. You could have could probably squeeze the vacation in if we do two forty-eight <laughs> per month. <laughs> so that is tempting, though. Just because it's tempting, not because. Uh, it's just tempting because I've seen what a good screen can do to your gaming experience. Yeah, and 32-inch. Like it's, it's just... Well, uh, here's the thing. And if you're gaming well, on a desk... Well, that's 32, isn't it, Mark? Or is that 30? Uh, that one's 32. Yeah, so that's the size of that's it. That's the size of it, yeah. Uh, yeah, gaming on a desk, 32 is like the perfect size, I think. Yeah. Because mine would be multi-purpose, you know? I could use it for the computer, use it for what the What is Xbox. this, 42? That's... Uh, How did you go 10 inches? Like, that's not... I think you need to recalibrate your internal measurement. Oh, that's, that's a 48, I think. 48. That's not 48. Or and that's only 32? 50, 50, 48 or 50. That's got to be 50, 52. I'm no. going to go grab a tape measure. Yeah. No, that's not 50. It's 52. You're right. No, There's no 52. TV that's 52. There's 50, then 55. Oh, then it's 50. I, I apologize. No, guaranteed it's Look, not. that's 32. 32. Is that 32? Yeah, that's 32. That's 20, that one's definitely 27 over there. Yeah, that's 32. Okay, so that's 32. 27, 32, 50. No. Any guesses in chat? Darv says, uh, Darv says, I looked into the LG versus Samsung. Probably go with LG. I also, when you say, when you hear OLED, LG owns the, owns OLED. Do they though? That's from, yeah, that's oh, from, okay. that's from LG to my understanding. But and don't other people have OLED? They just lease it from LG or something? I don't, I don't know yeah, how it works so, exactly. Yeah. But all I know is LG owns it because after I like went down a rabbit hole. Um, well, I, and I, I I used to think Samsung or Sony. I always wanted a Sony. I was like Sony's the best. After having an LG, like I'm hooked. Like they, well, I bought my washer, LG washer and dryer because of my TV. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> it's like they're great appliances. And now my uh, well, now my washer and dryer talk to my television. They do. They say your laundry's yeah. done. It'll come up in pink. Hey, no, uh, in J- Darv, the L- I was the same because I was because Xbox. Remember, Xbox is like partnered with Samsung, so I was looking at they all are. the Samsung. And yeah. don't get me wrong; those are nice TVs too. But when we were comparing the Samsungs to some of the LGs, I was just LG just had Lord. this like it. Was, there was just like a crisp a white in the glove. picture. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It was just there was there was I don't know. It was it just seemed LG. They just know what they're yeah. doing. Well, now that we're on uh, televisions and Mark whipped out his tape measure, you know it's time to end the show. So I, I couldn't find one. It's oh. 50 inches. Oh. We discussed it while you're gone. Yeah, uh, that's what I said. Oh. Th- that is not 50. Yeah, it is, because no. that's 32. No, that's not 50. So if you that's put that I'm there. find a tape. Yeah, that's 48. Yeah. Could we hit the yeah, outro while you go find it. Show, guys. Yeah. Thank you very much for tuning in. Next week, our 500th episode. Appreciate you all. The Members Lounge is right after this. For our members, don't miss it. YouTube.com forward slash X1 bros. Check out Mr. McSpicy's channel. Check out my channel. 
and eventually in a and while, eventually check Jordan's out Jordan's channel. channel. I don't know what he's he sits be on doing. a sits on a couch next to a I think fireplace. he should have a 24 hour stream going of just like his room. <laughs> yeah. That would be cool. Or like his desk. Yeah. Just watch him play. I would love that. Oh, <laughs> Do it, guys. Have a good one.